Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In our last video on backend development, we talked about how to create a login page. However, one of our viewers found a vulnerability in the code and pointed out that it's susceptible to SQL injection attacks. In this video, we'll be discussing SQL injection and how it can compromise the security of your website or application. SQL injection is a common type of cyber attack, but it's also preventable. Join us as we delve deeper into this topic and learn how to safeguard your code against SQL injection attacks. Let's get started. What is SQL injection? SQL injection is a type of web application security vulnerability that allows attackers to execute malicious SQL statements on a web application's database. First of all, let's define what a SELECT statement is. A SELECT statement is a command used in SQL to retrieve data from a database. For example, let's say the user is prompted to enter their customer ID to retrieve their information from the database. The SQL query to retrieve the customer information might look something like this. Here we are expecting a data from the user. If the user input is not properly validated or sanitized, an attacker could potentially enter malicious code as the user input, which would be executed by the database as part of the query. For example, an attacker could enter this. And the SQL query to becomes like this. The double dash is a comment symbol in SQL, so everything after that is ignored by the database. This modified query would retrieve all customer information from the database, rather than just the information for the intended customer. Let's say there is a web application that has a search function that allows users to search for products based on keywords. The search function takes the user's input and queries the database to retrieve any matching products. Now let's imagine an attacker wants to exploit the search function to gain unauthorized access to the application's database. The attacker can input malicious SQL commands into the search bar, which can then be executed on the database. Let's take a look at the code that was provided in the previous video. In this code, the username and password entered by the user are concatenated into a SQL query without any sanitization. This means that an attacker could potentially enter a SQL command as the username and gain access to the entire database. For example, an attacker could enter the following as the username. This would cause the SQL query to become the hash character at the end comments out the rest of the query. This can even drop the table by adding drop table login details before hash in the code. How to prevent SQL injection. To prevent SQL injection, we need to sanitize user input before using it in a database query. One way to do this is to use prepared statements. Prepared statements allow us to separate the SQL query from the user input, which makes it impossible for an attacker to inject malicious code into the query. Let's take a look at how we can modify the code to use prepared statements. Let's look at our login page. If an attacker enters a username like or one equal sign one and a dummy password, it may cause an SQL error to occur on the website. This error message show the attacker that SQL injection is possible. Let's modify the code to prevent this. We can use prepared statements in PHP. Prepared statements separate the SQL query from user input and make it impossible for attackers to inject malicious code into the query. To use prepared statements, we first replace any variables in our SQL query with a placeholder. Then, we create a prepared statement using the mysqliprepare function. This function takes two parameters. The first is the database connection object, and the second is the SQL query with placeholders. Next, we bind the variables that correspond to the placeholders in the SQL query to the prepared statement using the mysqliSTMTBindParam function. This function takes the prepared statement object and the variables we want to bind as parameters. It is important to note that we must bind the variables in the same order that they appear in the SQL query. Once we have bound the variables, we can execute the prepared statement using the mysqliSTMTExecute function. This function will execute the SQL query with the bound variables and return a result set if applicable. By using prepared statements and binding variables to the statement, we can effectively prevent SQL injection attacks and keep our PHP applications secure. So, 
Always remember to use prepared statements when dealing with user input that will be used in SQL queries. Let's test the application. To do this, we will enter a username with malicious code and a dummy password to see if the system is vulnerable to SQL injection attacks. After submitting the form, we can see that we are not getting an error message, indicating that our application is protected against SQL injection attacks. And that's a wrap for our tutorial on SQL injection for beginners. Remember, securing your website against SQL injection is a critical step in protecting the sensitive data of your users. Before we go, we would love to hear your feedback on this video and what you would like to see in our future videos. What topics do you find interesting and what kind of content would you like to see more of? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to hearing from you.